Welcome back to R for Economics. In this one, this video, we're going to be looking at natural language processing. An example that this is based on is available here at this uh, web uh, website. Now it requires all these packages and it here we indicate what each of those are doing. So I'm just going to bring in each of the libraries. I've already downloaded and installed the packages. If I wanna set my uh, drive and I can set my text file and I can set my working directory as well. Now I can bring in my text file, which is the Bank of Canada quarterly financial report for 2021 Q1. And I've, what I've done is taken this and pasted it into a text file. So it's now viewing it as a text file. And now it's going to do an analysis of that. So the first thing is it re reads in the lines. So it brings in the uh, variables. And then it says, I need to convert this to a text doc uh, corpus form. And you can see that this has a lot of information in it, which we'll just ignore for now. Uh, this is showing the list of the lines. And now we're going to start doing some tra transformations. So we're going to, uh, the two space is just going to change it into a space where we're doing a sub substitution of whatever we give it. So we need to text mining. We're going to change the text doc such that the backwards slash, the amphizan slash slash vertical lines are all now converted to uh, spaces because we don't want to map to things that are uh, that are just special characters. And we're also going to do a convert everything to a lower numbers. We're going to remove numbers so that we don't have numbers going through. We can remove stop words in English. Uh, this includes periods and, and the like. Uh, we can remove other th other things, customary stop words that you may have, uh, remove S's and companies and uh, teams, remove some punctuations. So this is gonna be most of the punctuation you see. We're gonna strip, strip down the white space. Uh, because we added spaces in here, we can now reduce that and bring it back down to a single space in between the words. And then we're going to reduce the words to the root so if you've got things like uh, advances, it will reduce that to advance. And then that way you can look at advance uh, numerous times and it doesn't matter if it's advanced, advanced or advancedly or whatever uh, suffix has been added. Now, some of the special characters you may have in here or maybe some special words you might wanna remove. And this is the simple way to do it is two space and then this. So now we've got our document cleaned up. Now we're going to take it and turn it into a, uh, a matrix, a term document, document matrix. And this allows us to analyze the, the data set uh, looking for correlations and frequencies. So now we can get the frequency of these and then we can see what the most uh, used words are. So bank, risk, financy. So this could be financial or financier, increase. Uh, so this could be increasing, increased, and then Canada are the top words. Now, if we want to look at these, we can do bar plots and we can see how much more banking is. We can also do a word cloud where we can see that bank, the biggest thing is in the center. And then as they go down, risk is the next one. And then it goes down to these other uh, blue ones and then to the orange and then finally to the green at the periphery. So this is saying what kind of uh, words are, are the most common in the, uh, in, the, in the text. We can find associations. So what's associated with risk, increase, growth, some of the top ones. And we can see which, which, uh, which words are, are going with these. So risk, we can see monitor, risk, finance, risk. So what this is looking for is words that are close in proximity to the word risk. And then you can find the frequency and you can actually just say, well, I want the frequency to be at minimum 50. Well, there's only one and that's bank. 
and bank note seems to show up a lot. Now, the other things you can do with this is not just word clouds and uh, words that are close. You can also convert these to sentiment. And you can see if there's a lot of positive sentiment or negative sentiment and the mean. So this seems to have a overall positive sentiment. And this is just based on uh, then there's the Bing sentiment. And you can see that these are fairly similar in their sentiment analysis. Overall, these all three seem to indicate that there's some kind of positive, um, positive sentiment. And you can compare all of these uh, if you need to. Now, another way of classifying these is emotion. So the, the emotions are anger, anticipation, disgust, fear, so on and so on, and trust. So we can take our text and we can figure out what is showing up the most common. I mean, you can see trust is getting a lot of uh, a lot of values. And now we can convert this, a few transformations, and now we can get a bar plot of where the sentiment is coming from. And we can see that trust is a strong sentiment that seems to be uh, issued in the Q, uh, Q1 report. Fear and anticipation are also ones, but there's very little surprise or sadness, joy, and anger. So these can be useful when you're trying to analyze and see if the uh, a report or something that you're examining has a lot of uh, certain types of uh, emotions that they're trying to uh, emit. Now, the bar plot is the same thing, just uh, organized, uh, organized uh, across. Okay, and those are the main things for natural language processing, and we'll see you in the next video.